Welcome to Vlogmas, y'all. And today we're in Washington, D.C. to visit one of the most prestigious historically black one, college two, and universities, two, Howard University, H.U., you know. Yes, this historically black research university traces its history back to 1867. This campus is so historic. In the first five years of operation, Howard educated over 150,000 formerly enslaved black people and their descendants. And I'm so excited to tour this campus today, y'all. Let's hope Amaya likes this one. Here we are. In the one day you'll go to college. Yeah, yeah, you know again. Okay, so Is we're on our way to... Is that white? Uh-huh. Is that white? Okay, get out of my head. Okay. Oh, I thought you were talking okay, about that. And I was like, because oh, you're like... We're on our way to... Black white? Just Elaine. Elaine. Lockie. Elaine Lock Hall. And we're here. To sneak in to a African-American's history class, an African-American's history teacher is going to let us join on a Zulu class. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Breaking into class. When did I Breaking this? into class. Ngane. Did I say something? Oh, look. Howard oh, University oh, Television. Yeah. What? Otherwise is known as what? She sat at the back of the butt. No. <laughs> How can I do that? And I leave the black student club. Okay. That's okay, embarrassing. Right I know who Queetsley is. Who? Queetsley. Uh, her name, her first name is, I forget, something Queetsley. Thomas, Thomas, it's a girl. Queetsley. Queetsley, yes. Queetsley, okay. Queetsley, that's how my history teacher says her name. She says her double H is like, what, where, when, Queetsley. She was a slave. And she's a poet, and she wrote satirical uh, poems on slavery. Okay, so here we have the Harriet Tubman Quadrangle, which has, um, as you can see, a five hodge, which is why it's called quad. I thought quad <laughs> I is that, four. Because that's four. Maybe they added one oh. um, at the end. <laughs> this is where our students stay um, during their four-year education here. Um, I'm not sure if this is for graduate students or undergrad, but I'm guessing from the look out of it, it might be for like, it looks a little, somebody has a little Febreze. That looks a little... Febreze? Like sophomore-ish, junior. It's like, you know it was going to stink in there before you got in there. So you bought that Febreze. And I can feel it coming. This is where the admissions is, and you're going to be here a lot for scholarships, financial aid, etc. I spent a lot of time in this building. Financial aid. Mm -hmm. Waiting mm -hmm. those long lines. Uh, I ain't got my refund check yet. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got, but they were actually, as a grad student, though, your perspective is different. Because I'm just like, okay, it's going to take a couple months. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But when you're a college student, you're like, I don't even have enough money to buy any noodles. I need my money right now. I need my Right there. That's me. Yeah, this is a chapel. Oh, that's your chapel. Oh, You'll be there a lot. Yep. Singing. You're gonna go. So they care about volunteering. That's what I thought. Yes, like, it's all about, about giving back to the community. Giving yes. back to the community. So when you do your Howard essay, you focus on how you gave back with your YouTube channel. Yes. And you can do some giveaways in the next month or whatever. <laughs> yes. I'm serious. You can yes. do some giveaways and give away Free. some black pro yes. products. Definitely. Yes. Definitely. Oh, yes. like give away my flashcards, but my flashcards are like free. maybe so. maybe give those so. yeah. or maybe give something to like a school, a black school. My oh, flashcards. Like an elementary great school. Great idea. Amaya um, started the um, oh, black and like yeah. school. Yeah. So yeah. 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 Or the black. Otherwise known as the culture. black culture club. Yeah. <laughs> black well, culture. We're not gonna talk about that. Club. The College of Dentistry, where you or other people from the DC area can come and get dental work done for free or very, very cheap from college students. College, college students. And keep it no, because she got it. Sure did. <laughs> sure did. This is, I think, a new research building that Howard built. I don't know how new it is, but it is gorgeous. Look, once it kind of sees all the merch, all the Howard merch, yeah. he's going to want to go here. Only for the merch. Yeah. 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 Are we actually gonna get anything from here? Are you just gonna let a Kylie roam around until she finds something she likes and goes, can we get this? Yeah, this is what I want. If you get accepted here, then we'll get something from here. We'll get a Howard mom shirt. I get it already. I, I feel like I that's fine automatically. You know? 
What's his name? Same last name say as it. What do you mean? Say it. Don't Dr. Say it. Nyandu. <clears throat> Dr. Nyandu. Dr. Nyandu. Dr. Nyandu. Dr. Nyandu. Dr. Nyandu. Dr. Say it, say it. It's your last name, girl. Dr. Nyandu. Send more. Group hug. Why not? So you are the one. Yes. How are you? Good. I mean, I mean, I mean. How are you? I mean, Group hug. So born. So born. I know. You guys are good in this. Hey! Yeah. Yeah. They're practicing. Yeah. Hi everyone. Hi. How are you? Do you oh, remember yeah. my yeah. How are you? Good, yeah. good, good. Yeah, yeah my sister is helping your mother. No way. So Sunny Bona. Yeah. Let's start. Yeah. Unjani. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> like, so <laughs> like how is the weather, right? Mm. Yeah, so that's the only word we'll learn today. Yeah. So you could see either say Guya Shisa, it's hot, or Guya Banda Ganwane, since you're good at Ganwane. Yeah? Mm. So how do what do we what do you wanna say? Guya Banda or Guya Shisa? Mm -hmm. Oh, look at you, I can see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, guys. Wasan. What does Wasani mean? Come on. Oh, no. Am I a Korean? So they have Korean, now you know. I know. Two camps. Oh, see, when you don't think, yeah, that's what I'm going to like, be intuitive, intuitive. Don't think, because when you think, your mind is already telling you, I'm American, this is a weird language, I don't speak it. But when you don't think, your ear is smarter. So it just knows what it heard, it hears, and boom. So everyone say, ka. Ka. Look at you. Remember Zulu, A, A, E, O, U? So like Spanish, right? A, A, E, O, U. So this is not A, this is? Uh, thank you. This is not E. This is A. Thank you. This is not I. This is A. E. Thank you. Who said E? <laughs> Whoever said E. This is not O. This is O. 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 This is not U. This is Because in the Zulu logic, remember, let's think like Zulu people think. This is, in English, this is O, but Zulu people are like, did I hear an, a W here in this sound? E. And this is not you because zulu people think was they a why so there are two golden rules for learning the zulu language right right no silent or secret sounds so what you see is what you say two the you attack the vowel so basically i've just cracked the code right mm -hmm. you attack the vowel so ah, a, e, o, o, everyone a, a, e, o, o. there are no silent sounds so, in, for example, in French, this is we, but Zulu logic, is there a W here? Why should you say we? That's the point. So there's a secret W, that's the point. Mm -hmm. In Zulu, there's no such thing. So, ah, uh, ma, there is the beautiful sound right here. Said. Every time you hear this sound, it means good. So whenever you hear this, yeah, whoever said yes. So everyone, ah, uh, ma, said, don't think. Ah, uh, uh, ma, you all said it. See what happens when you don't think. Yes, don't think. Because your ear knows what it heard. So, Amase, go. Amase. And then, of course, the easy one. Hello. It's been six years. <laughs> and you taught them in five seconds. I know. <laughs> don't think. Because the students always, and it's okay, because students always say, how do you say it? Once you start explaining, you're in, tro you're in trouble. That's how people show up in Africa from like, um, all over the world and just speak the language and I can't even write it because they what well, they just say what they hear mm -hmm. yeah so when we think uh, so mm -hmm. of course ah uh, P way not Philadelphia remember there's no F there in Zulu logic a P way. thank you if it was it no if there was no H it would be a P P way everyone say P P P P P P P P P P P whether you know what it means or not. Mm -hmm. You can say anything. Yes, is it? Is it R-P-Way? Finish. Oh, it's not R-P-Way? No, R-A-E. Oh, look at my lips. R-A-E-O-U. So it's not R-P-Way, it's R-P-Way. 
Yeah, I say uh, uh, because my name starts with uh. That's and why my I name starts with all of our names starts with uh. Yeah, it's Apiwe. 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 Elena, yes, Elena, yes. and and Akiba. So uh, let's pretend there's one. So it's Akiba. it's Akeba. Akeba. In fact, it's a sharp K because uh, if there was a K H, it would be Akeba. But there's no H, so it's Akeba. Don't think. Right. Yeah. All right, start calling me that now. How do you say my name? Just let's spell it. Yes. So yeah, Joseph. So it would be wrong. Zulus have actually appropriated that. So they, a Zulu one would be Josepha. Many of these African languages started being um, mastered and explained and translated by missionaries. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So like the best Zulu is in the Zulu Bible. It's still the best selling book in Zulu. Yeah. Final test. How do you say this? Using the rules that we've just learned everyone, college, we're in college. We're in college, remember the rules. Manyan John. Oh, what did you say? Manyan Bill. Say it again. Manyan. Manya. See, I had ma there that is not there. Well, good. Good, you are teaching us. So let's not say this. Say Manyan John. So you linger on the M. You don't, and you don't say M because there's no A here, you see? You just start with the Manyan John. Everyone? Awesome. Okay, let's move. Let's do everyone. How do you spell your name? A Z A I O. So let's let's zulu fight. A Z A Y O. A Z A Y O. A K I L I. A K I L I. A M Y A H. So it's A M A Y A. A J E D I A J D A E O U A J D. Say A J D. A J D. Oh, awesome. Arazo. Yeah. Arazo. That's my Korean name. Arazo. It's the same as Korean. Exactly. But they say Arazo. 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 Okay. Have you guys listened to like comedians when they do African accents? We American, do. like Jamie Foxx, when he does the African, they're very good because they usually like consult with like professors and Africans. They're very good. You know why? Because they attack the vowel. They often have, like, if you listen to Jamie Foxx uh, and all, everyone just making, who's a very good comedian making fun of Africans, they often say, hey, how are you? You know what I am saying? That's correct. It's funny, but it's very, Africans get upset, but it's very correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How are That's you? similar to Korean. Yeah. Very similar. Yeah. Oh, it's the same as Korean. Exactly. Yeah. Ah, guys. So hopefully these rules will help you with Korean learning too. <laughs> yeah. And uh, and it's completion, not perfection. Ah, in the US we're always obsessed sometimes saying it right. That's why we spend most time like explaining it and having it explained. Just complete it, because Africans always forgive you. Uh, they just they know you are learning. So when you go to South Africa for study abroad, you be uh, South Africans won't make fun of you if you say, "Hey, Amale." Uh, they know it. They know it. So they won't make fun of you. <laughs> like that. Like he hates that. that. Oh. Amase, say Amase. Your name. Amase. Ah, you <laughs> he says it's such like a big. Yeah, bro. That's your name. Mm -hmm. And Zulus don't make fun of you if you speak slowly and if you kind of count your your syllables. They don't, they don't mind at all. Oh, you taking notes? Nice. Oh, you smart. What you doing? Math inside of Zulu? Shh. <laughs> I like Zulu. Yeah. He's a great professor. He's fine. Yes. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. He is. He is. He's, he uh, speaks Zulu as well? So, my kid, this is my kid's uncle. Okay. Yeah. So, they take Zulu with his wife, or they did. Okay. Like, she teaches the kids sometimes. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then we're just here because uh, my niece is going on a college tour here. Oh, she's here. Um, yeah. Yeah. Come, right, here. come over here. Are you trying to take a thing? I'm sorry. It's fine. It's fine. Are you guys YouTubers? What year are you guys doing? 
Oh, I'm a freshman. Oh, yeah, I'm a freshman. Oh, good. Oh, oh, good. Yes. Yes. Oh, inside. Yes. Mm-hmm. Are you thinking about Howard? Yes. So what's you guys' favorite thing about like Howard? From a freshman and from a senior. Yeah. Those are two different. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I'm like a complex senior. Like I already, I graduated yeah. from Howard already. Like I already have a degree from Howard. Oh, okay. And I'm back again. But okay. So I have a senior by credits. But I would say. So you love Howard. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll say this. Like Howard's a great place. I think something I always take note of is like where they cannot separate you by race. They'll separate you by class. Yeah. So always like keep that in mind. Like it, it does have like an elitism aspect to it. But mm-hmm. like that's like you go into Howard knowing that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, but I feel like. The alum, like you cannot get the alum, like shout out to the alum, they are the best group of people. Like, I you can't walk in a room and the alum are not there for you, but I think that's the one thing. Like if you go to Howard or like Spelman, you're gonna have that community. Tuskegee is another one, like you're gonna have that community where they're there for you. So mm-hmm. and you said the people. <laughs> Sorry guys. That's I the people. Up. I love the people. It's easy to make Her. friends and stuff. Yeah. 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 My GPA? My GPA? Yeah. Print. Well, my last year, yeah. last year my GPA yeah. was 4.6. Oh, okay. 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 So why did you choose um, oh. Howard over Columbia? Like over Ivy? Well, yeah. A lot of people ask me that, like when I made my final decision, but um, basically like, put it like this. I think HBCUs offer a lot of opportunities that really aren't their IVs like um I'm doing a six year program for medicine. So I do two years of undergrad and then I go straight into med school. No IVs that I applied to offer that. So I think Howard like the networking is a lot better. I'm not saying like Ivy League networking is not good, but just it's like you would think the Ivy Leagues offer those opportunities, but they're really like they're really not there. But as soon as I saw Howard and especially like being in a community full of like just black excellence, it's like the best decisions you ever make. So that's for sure. You about to be in the top one percent because we need more black doctors. Yeah, we're going to medical supplies. Yeah, so after next year, if I pass the MCAT. I get into house, man. Right? <laughs> <laughs> well, I went to Boone State. Yeah, it's not Howard, but you know, oh, thank you, see you. As long as it's not him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about him. Yes. <laughs> But, Wait, oh, that's rival. Yeah. yeah, and I love Bowie because it's like black world. It's yeah. like I grew up in a black world. It's all black people all day. Mm-hmm. And then when I went to the grocery store, I was like, "Whoa, yeah. what's going on here? Stop black people. What? <laughs> what? what? You gotta go back into my black world. Yeah. And then you graduate, then you never have that ever again. All right, well, it was nice meeting you. Whatever decision you make, you know, just have confidence in that decision. But obviously, I'm hoping to see you at Howard. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. 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 See, this is the thing about actually going to visit an HBC. I'm not going to go anywhere else. Yes. Um, Boom. <laughs> it's like when you go black, you never go back. It's that type of thing. Like when you walk, the, I'm serious. When you walk the campus of an HBCU, like once you visit it, you'll want to go there. Like there's no not wanting to go. <laughs> My grandmother was a teacher, you know, so a very educated person. Uh, she used to not allow us to speak Zulu in our house. So my friends used to laugh at us because we meant we're getting behind in learning English. And English is like the economic thing, it's, English is the money. So for a while I, I, I just, I thought my grandmother was doing me wrong and I thought I wouldn't speak English that well. But it meant that my Zulu was good. Fast forward later, I'm starting my PhD, I need funding. And they're looking for re- research assistants who only one requirement, you must speak Zulu natively. So my grandma from the grave came through to me. Yes. I, yes. So like, they would be, and, and then I graduate, and they say, okay, um, we're gonna employ you. Uh, and it's actually hard to get a job at Howard. And so, because competition, so many pe- gifted people. And they said, well, we'll employ you on one condition, you teach Zulu. So if my grandma had let me not speak Zulu, I would have never had enough Zulu in my head to teach, let alone the books, let alone like what I do. Right. Yeah, so grandma, grandma came through, you know. That's why I'm trying she to help these kids. <laughs> Not speaking English. Now I would like them to speak Korean. Mm. Joe, you gotta learn, get your Korean up though. No, but you know, I'll learn it then. Mm-hmm.
And you. If me and you both are in Korean, then we can speak Korean. Yeah, but you and then we can teach you. Do <laughs> 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 you only speak Zulu in your household? Uh, no, 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 we speak English too. Because oh. I accepted this reality. They speak Zulu is their second language, you see. Mm. I can't force them. Like many South Africans, their kids end up not speaking Zulu at all because they, they are in denial. They say, no, 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 we are Zulu in this house. We speak Zulu, we speak Zulu. And the kid only hears Zulu when mom and dad are shouting. So they associate it with negativity. Mm -hmm. And they're in school for eight hours speaking English on the internet, English, TV, English. So Zulu is actually second language. So I accepted from the get that Zulu is their second language. So we speak English and then teach Zulu. And I, I'm happy with it. My grandma would be happy. <laughs> but Desiree has just come up with this thing of like Zulu, maybe you guys do it already. Like this Zulu, speak Zulu, speak only Zulu in one day. Oh, it's like 24 hours. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's good. Yeah, she came up with that. We should do that. that the kids like challenge. it. The kids oh, are liking it. Good, please, good, please, good. please. Yeah. That maybe you can coordinate so they do it together yeah, across yeah. space. Oh, yeah. so they yeah. can call each other. Yeah, yes. And it's only yeah. Zulu. You finish your four years, then you can also go abroad then, like stay yeah, longer. I'm going to go abroad now. Your first semester, fall, spring, that summer, CC, study abroad. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so that no, but okay. well, when it so comes, <laughs> when it comes, you'll be so glad because you have like you'd have already been like it's like your first year in college is orientating you and getting you ready as an like as a college student. So, kind of like you're like, <clears throat> you know, yeah. like okay, yeah. I'm me, yeah, and nothing blindsides you. Like, yeah. I did it, it was the best, yeah, I won't lie, life changing and all that. It's the Best thing ever to go abroad in America, and sometimes the worst. Because Americans, like my friends, they're loud. <laughs> so people know, here come, here come the Americans. <laughs> but you get away with a lot when you're abroad with when you're, when you have the US passport. Because you say, I'm American, and then, like, uh, so you like, some rules don't apply. Yeah. You got caught jaywalking, you say, I'm American. They're like, okay. You get caught jaywalking with a South African passport. Oh, man. Really? Wow. Hey, the world is unequal. Yeah, yeah. See? You learn how it is for the first time, To sometimes for the first time, I guess. You feel American first before you are black. Oh. And it's a very different... Mm. You, like, you feel the power of being an American for the first time mm -hmm. when you go outside. And that itself is life-changing. We're such a developed and we have so much influence. Yes. You can see it everywhere. Everyone wants to mess with you. Yeah. Because they see the passport with the ego. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, don't mess with this person. Yes. Thank you. That's the best view of the campus. Uh, you would like that. Very happy with Kate. I think, yeah, that was so nice of you, like to ask the questions. Mm -hmm. And like those people, like um, yeah, even if you like, you would have contacted them anytime you wanna contact them or whatever, and and you wanna ask them more questions. I and I I, I encourage it. Mm -hmm. That way, you never hear from my a professor's perspective. You hear from people who you'll be sitting with. So awesome. Yes, yeah. Thank you. Oh, Chadwick Boseman College. Maybe you wanna take a picture oh, by yeah. that. Yes. Straight. Twelve o'clock. That you you want that actually mm -hmm. <laughs> you want that. Okay, now imagine this. When I was nineteen, I had a baby in college, just like I am now. So I was walking through the halls like this, yo, and she was breastfed. Can you imagine I was in school like this? I know. I was in school, with your baby. Literally. Never been. Never been. Uh, for students. Like, they're used to So it's probably like a cafe. Yes. Like a Dining hall. Yeah. Look, they have pictures of um, notable alumni over there. Toni Morrison. Evelyn Brooks Higginbotham. You don't want me to go to Korea? Oh, that would be nice. 
Yeah. Yeah, that would be that would be acceptable. I mean, if you go somewhere like anywhere, if you go somewhere really special, then it's unavoidable. You know, to to not be around your family, but like otherwise, you know, I don't want you to get too far away from um, a Kylie and a Zio. I mean, you already, I mean, the younger ones, I guess, they're so much younger than you that you still don't have the, it's kind of different, you know, because they're so much younger than you, like the baby, even, even air or so. Yeah, they might forget you, right? <laughs> they, sure. they won't forget you, but they won't love you as much. Right. <laughs> Right. Kind of, you know, they, their feelings about you are kind of change, you know, and you won't be there to see what they're going through to know, you know, why they're becoming the people that they're becoming. Well, You'd be so distant from them, not just, you know, it's just about communicating and keeping the same relationship with them. I mean, you can also do that on the phone, but you'd have to consciously try to do that. Mm -hmm. But it, it's not the worst thing in the world, but it can sometimes make a difference. Mm. So we're at this restaurant. It's called My Wad Grill. It's the Afghani Grill. The food is still coming out. Why don't you just try this since your food is hot? They allow us to make reservations for 16 people. Name kebab? Wow. You could smell it. It's so yummy. You were so hungry, now you're not eating. I hope you don't eat it. I'm going to take it home. Yeah. Da, 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 Can we walk da, it? Da, 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 da. Are we walking it? Knee up, knee up. I mean, bottom up, bottom up. What if I just Alexander walk Alexander Hamilton? Everything I say, I say it in Alexander Hamilton tone. I am so excited. I am so excited. What do you say, Isaiah? Have your tickets out and ready, please. Have your tickets out and ready. Yes. That's what we would say everything. <laughs> Are you excited with Kylie? Yes. I'm going to jump you? with me. You? Number, you? Yeah. You? Yeah. Who's the most in you? I'm the most excited. You know what I mean? But I can see him shining. I can see him shining on me. And we ended our night watching Hamilton. What a wonderful musical with a bunch of black and brown actors and actresses. It was so much fun. The kids loved it so much. What a great musical and a great way to end the night. So make sure you're subscribed because next time on Maisley, we're going on even more college tours. So stay tuned. We're out. One.